So now, Shelby, we've made our way over into the dining area. And something that I think is so special here is that in the fall, you know, when it's so cold outside, we start hosting more dinner parties or start having more events at home. But I don't know if you're like me and you get like, oh my gosh, somebody's coming to my house. I gotta throw everything away. I gotta stuff it in the closet. How can we set this space up so that we always feel ready to welcome people into our home? Well, one way that I absolutely love to do that is actually put my, um, my drinkware and like crystal, wine glasses, everything like that, kind of out on display. So if you see over here, yeah. um, I have two little crystal coops on display mm -hmm. and then a little bowl. And then instead of just setting them out on the counter, Another thing about dimension is, you know, putting it on a pretty brass tray. Okay. You know, paying attention to those details. Um, and if you see over here, I also have a bunch of my nice china and um, crystal stemware all displayed in the case and all pretty and not just shoved away. So. And what I love is that you already have the wine bottle mm -hmm. open. I set the space up for you. Mm -hmm. So come on in and let's sit down and let's have a drink. Yep. I love that. Absolutely. Now I have to say the pine cones made a return they did. to the dining room. <laughs> now tell me what we have here. I love this little piece of detail. So I found these at an antique store. Mm -hmm. I do I do a lot of antique antique shopping. Okay. Um, but they're just pine cone salt and pepper shakers, so I have a lot of different, you know, seasonal themed mm -hmm. details like that that just makes it even more fun to decorate a table or just have a dinner party. That's awesome. And then you have that also sitting around this beautiful centerpiece too. Yep. So, um, great way to just make a simple dining table stand out is just having a nice, stoneware vase, or just simple vase, okay. um, with some fall foliage. And this is faux, um, it's not real, but I got it from Michael's. That's a great place to get um, faux stems for any season, but they have a lot of really nice fall ones right now. So yeah, I just, I like to arrange it in a way where it kind of looks a little whimsical and, mm -hmm. you know, separate all the branches so they don't look so conforming and, right. you know. And I love that you're still following that color pattern that you yep. said, those colors that you see outside. We're seeing those reds, we're seeing those greens, those oranges, mm -hmm. that rustic. That's why pattern. I loved this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And you brought that right here inside. And it's mm -hmm. crazy, you got this from Michael's. So you can yep. get some of these pieces, like you said, from antique stores, from places like Michael's and yep. whatnot, and you bring them all inside. Yep. And I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready for a glass of wine and a little charcuterie board now. <laughs> But thank you just so much for just opening up your home and showing us little ways that we can make sure it feels like fall inside. Yeah. Now, if somebody at home is watching this and they want to book you and help, you can help them kind of spruce up their space, mm -hmm. how can they go about doing that? Well, they can head over to my Instagram. That's at Abbott Home Design. Um, they can either shoot me a message on there or I have a link in my bio that takes them to my link tree and there's a way to get in touch with me on there as well more formally on there I love so. that. Yeah. Oh, well thank you so so much <laughs> thank you